What's up YouTube, David Taylor here with Techno Buffalo, and this is my recap of the Google Nexus 7 event. So Google just finished up with their press conference event today and they officially announced the new Nexus 7. It has the same 7 inch screen size as the original Nexus 7, but a smaller bezel around the edges. It's almost 2 millimeters thinner and 50 grams lighter and it has a new black on black design with a few glossy accents around the camera. It's packing an HD 1920 by 1200 screen with 323 ppi. Google calls this the highest resolution 7 inch tablet on the market. The screen also has a 30% wider range of colors. It'll have a front facing camera at 1.2 megapixels and a rear camera at 5 megapixels. With the new 1.5 GHz Snapdragon 34 Pro processor, it is 80% faster than the old Nexus 7. But even with the faster speeds, Google says it will still have up to 9 hours of battery life watching HD video and up to 10 hours of Wi-Fi browsing. This will also be the first Android device to ship with Android 4.3 pre-installed. Upgraded with 2GB of RAM, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, dual stereo speakers, and 4G LTE. It will work with AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon Wireless when it ships. It will be available for purchase on July 30th. Next up, Google talked a little about Android 4.3. Not too big of an update, but it does have some improvements over 4.2.2, such as a new low energy Bluetooth and the upgraded graphics with OpenGL ES 3.0 for gaming. They also have a new app called Google Play Games. It's basically the same idea as Game Center for the iPhone. You'll be able to challenge friends to different games and see what scores uh, they have on those as well. Android 4.3 will be available today as an over-the-air update for the Nexus 7, Nexus 4, Nexus 10, and the Galaxy Nexus. It will be available for other devices in the future. So like I said before, you cannot get the Nexus 7 until July 30th, but if you want to get a device right now, you can actually pre-order Google's new thing called Chromecast. Chromecast is basically Google's version of the Apple TV or the Roku. It's a tiny device that you plug into HDMI port on your TV, which will allow you to stream YouTube, Netflix, and Vimeo videos, as well as mirror your Google Chrome page from your laptop or phone straight to the TV. It will work on Android, iOS, Chrome for Windows and Mac, and Chrome OS on the Chromebook Pixel. It's available for $35 today in the US at Amazon.com, Best Buy.com, and the Google Play Store, and will be available for other countries at a later date. So that's it for the Google Nexus 7 event. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for all of your tech news. My name is David Taylor, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.